Hey everybody, Brett here. Day 132, I think, of my carnivore diet journey. And uh, yeah, this is my view. So that is the, uh, the ocean outside of my resort here in Cozumel. There's a person walking even to prove that it's not a green screen. Um, when we come over this way, this is my my other door to our private little swim out pool area. Pretty, pretty snazzy. And then as we keep walking, we have another uh, little area to our swim out pool. And this actually connects to the main pool over there underneath that bridge so um so yeah so pretty uh pretty snazzy uh again this is not how i live <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination this is a uh once every 25 years kind of thing for my uh for my my wife and i's 25th anniversary it's kind of dark right here let me move out just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So, uh, so yeah. So today was a great day in Cosmo. You know, you can see the the clouds up there. Um, it is uh, raining. There was a tropical storm Alberta. Alberto came through. Uh, last week it made landfall on Thursday. Today is Sunday. So, um, so there's been a lot of rain here today. Um, I went scuba diving today. Um, two of the longest dives that I've ever done. Um, I did a 60 minute dive and then a 70 minute dive. And I know for, for some folks that's not a big deal, but for me that's, that's huge because every other time I've ever been scuba diving, I've been 300 pounds or more and so um, the the idea of going that long in a single tank has been kind of non-existent for me so um, this was this was a great great thing and and this is really and truly it's all because of my carnivore diet um, my carnivore diet losing 82.5 pounds before I got here and I will say that before I got here um, we are at an all-inclusive resort, and um, that means all the alcohol I want, all of the food I want, basically. And so we uh, we did uh, we had breakfast this morning. Uh, I had some some beef. I had beef for breakfast, which is odd for us in the U.S. We don't normally have beef uh, for for breakfast at least. So I had beef. I had uh, bacon. I had, there's a bird just landed on my other balcony here. Um, uh, beef, bacon, scrambled eggs, and I think that was it. I think that was all I ate for breakfast today. Um, but just like kind of a little bit of bacon, a little bit of eggs, a little bit of beef, and then I got some more bacon. I was still hungry. Um, I was actually looking for a, a, a banana. And even though somebody pointed out to me that bacon has more potassium than bananas, my brain still says banana, banana, banana. So uh, I looked for banana. They didn't have any fresh bananas today. They had fried plantains, but fried plantains is not the same as a raw banana. So uh, I went ahead and just had a little bit more bacon. Uh, and then I went off and scuba dive. They picked me up at 8 o'clock. I got back around 1 o'clock. Um, you know, between driving out on the boat to the dive site um, diving my first dive, have a stop, have a, a surface interval, that's what we call it. Um, and then somebody on the boat um, actually had to take a pill and it take, took like an hour for it to take effect. They didn't take it when I got up, they took it when they got up from the water. Uh, so I had to wait an extra half hour just for that. Uh, and then we went back down in the water, came out. Um, that was my 70 minutes. First dive was 60 minutes, second dive was 70 minutes. Um, and it was, it was awesome, right? Amazing. Uh, Cozumel has the second largest barrier reef in the world, only second to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. 
So pretty, pretty great diving. Um, you can't really go wrong here. Uh, we dove uh, Palancar Gardens, and then um, we ended at San on the second dive. We ended at Santa Rosa, but I can't remember where we went in. But we basically went from one kind of dive site to another, and then ascended. So um, pretty great, pretty pretty freaking great. I was amazed, but. Um, was only able to do two dives today. Their their afternoon. The other people in the afternoon canceled. They won't go out out for just one guy like me. So um, I'm not. Didn't dive in the afternoon. Tomorrow we're diving in the morning. We should be diving in the afternoon. And then um, yeah. And then I'll I'll take Tuesday off. That's the plan. And then I'll do some more diving on Wednesday. But that'll be off the island of Cosmo. I'll be back on. Um, the mainland over near Playa del Carmen. Uh, buddy dive guide from Cancun is going to pick me up, and we're going to we're going to do some dives uh, in the mainland in what they call cenotes, which are caverns, right? So there's a, there's this whole cave system underneath the Yucatan Peninsula that goes all the way from Tulum and maybe even south of that, all the way north to Cancun. Uh, so he's going to drive down from Cancun, pick me up in Playa and we are going to dive near Playa Riviera Maya area. So it should be phenomenal. Um, super, super excited about it, but, but that's, that's where it's at. Um, as far as the rest of today goes, like I said, I had the bacon, bacon, eggs, and beef for breakfast this morning. Um, no fruit, no vegetables, no tortillas, nor anything else. Uh, lunchtime, uh, options were fairly limited, and I did not want to eat a hamburger patty. Um, so I ended up doing a chicken quesadilla. Um, so had a little bit of a tortilla. It was very small. Um, so chicken and cheese was probably the majority. Uh, a little bit of tortilla. And then I've had I th three, three servings of Jim Beam today. Um, Two of those were with uh, a little bit of Coke because Jim Beam is not a straight, ordinary Jim Beam is not a si sipping bourbon. Uh, if any of you drink bourbon, you'll know that. Um, so I had to cut it with something. Um, so I did it with Coke and it didn't dawn on me to at least use Diet Coke um, so that it wasn't real sugar or fake sugar, but um, that's what I drank today. So um, three of those. And then, uh, and then the tortilla. Now my wife and I, I've, um, so I'm doing this video right now, and now my wife and I are gonna go to dinner. I don't know what they have over there tonight. Um, we're opting for the easy option, which is the International Buffet. I should be able to find some good options that are protein only, protein primary. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll be back in the room. I'm back up tomorrow morning uh, diving at, uh, meeting them at the, the pier. Which I don't know if we can see the pier. Actually, we can. That uh, the little uh, kind of shelter-looking thing right there—that's actually the pier. The, the the pier that runs out is behind the, the greenery here. Um, there we go. So right out on the pier, the boat will show up, pick me up, and uh, and we'll go back out onto the reefs here in Cozumel. Uh, I'm gonna do two dives for sure. They're trying to confirm if I can do two more afternoon dives. And that will be phenomenal because that means I take Tuesday off. Um, but, uh, but we shall see. Um, if not, then I'll do two dives tomorrow. I'll do two dives on Tuesday. Um, could potentially mean that I get another uh, specialty certification. So uh, I need one more dive to finish my deep diver certification which is great, I've, I've wanted that. Um, and then I'll do two more dives to either potentially get uh, peak performance buoyancy. Um, that's probably the most likely one. Also possibility for um, drift diver, which eh, I don't know how much, how excited I am about drift diver, but hey, I'm, I'm happy to get more specialties done. Uh, another one that I wanted to do was search and rescue, um, but here in Cozumel, a lot of the diving is drift diving. There's a current almost everywhere you go. So um, doing search and rescue as a training protocol is a little bit tougher in Cozumel. Um, uh, 
I can do it in Colorado, and it's also tough in Colorado because in Colorado I'm in cold water, and it's not as clear. Uh, the visibility isn't as good, but um, either way, I don't care. I'm diving. I'm in Cozumel. My wife's here, and I love it. So um, that's kind of where things are at for me today. Oh, um, so, so this morning I did wake up 2.51. I think it was 2.51.1. Um, is it 251.1? Yeah, so my wife is uh, sitting in the other, in, in the room, um, and she's, yeah, she's pretty sure it was 251.1. So uh, 250 even yesterday morning, 251.1 today. Um, I fully expect to put a little bit of weight on, um, whether or not I stay carnivore, because that's just kind of the pattern. I get a couple days of loss, and then I get a couple days of about the same, maybe a little bit of gain, and then I and then I lose again. So um, 251.1, I'm happy with. Um, I have had a little bit of alcohol today. Uh, I had a little bit of carbohydrates today, so I fully expect to kind of get knocked out or down in my ketosis. Uh, but that's okay. Not not going to complain. I'm going to enjoy my vacation, my 25th wedding wedding anniversary trip with my beautiful wife, and. Uh, and yeah, so that's where we are today. I will talk to you tomorrow.